Welcome back to another YouTube video of Metaphor. Last time we left off, we had cleared the dungeon in Matera, and we had spent a week just developing social links and world virtues and such. Uh, we need to increase our, what is it? <laughs> our in imagination. In order to uh, get to the request for Stroll, to keep that up. So yeah, he has something he wants to say while we're traveling. Nothing to do with these. We're also looking for a better dungeon to farm. Uh, requests. Let's see here. Mellow milk. Hmm. Let me go talk to it again. <clears throat> because there's two mellow milk recipes. I need to figure out which one it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna read out the side characters dialogue anymore. Just actual like main stuff. What you want just to save my voice and time. Nothing new there. Let's see. Hey. Mm -hmm. This for soft texture that uses mellow milk. Alright. Right. So which one of these has a soft texture? Surely one of them has a soft texture. Surely there's like a giveaway. Uh, mellow milk, coney stew, stew with meat and vegetables simmered in milk. I don't. Meat is meat a soft texture. I mean, it's, it's stew, right? So it maybe. Uh, what's the other one? Benevolent bread. A ripe bread so soft it soothes the soul. I think it might be that one. I think it is. I think it's benevolent bread. Soft texture, mellow milk. So I don't think it's. I don't think it's stew. I don't think it's meat. Unfortunately, we. I don't think we can do this without taking up a time slot. But let me just find out. Really. Oh, I guess we can't do it right now. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. We need to get Maria's, you know, input on something. Oh, yeah, not input. Thanks. We need her rank four thing, so we can, uh, you know, quack without taking up time slots. Once we do that, we can go big dick on cooking. Just like look for all the ingredients and. Go fully into it. Um, but right now, I think the only thing we can do is increase our imagination, since that's what we need at the moment. <clears throat> Imagine it's what we need at the moment, yeah, yeah. Uh, guess we can't cut through. Because of the fairy. I'll do a save right here. Then we'll do this one, and then we'll uh, progress the storyline. Yeah, I remember the stuff about the bed. Yep, yep. Mm. Oh. <laughs> need to get a knife. I read stuff like this. Uh, Man up the six trap people share the eight loaves of bread equally. The dilemma seems nearly at its end. Then the clean mob one points up the parapus man said, so we get the same amount as the parapus. That's not the way the world, the woman said. The Rusanti man agreed. The palpus was incensed to be so attacked. I don't want your stupid bed anyhow, he shouted and took his leave. Watching him walk away, the remaining four smiled triumphantly. Eight loaves of bed for four tribes. Without waiting for them, they had gone to fetch the knife. The remaining four each took two loaves and left. Indeed. Ah, you heard it right. Those who were spared by entrusted as well as those who trusted were empty handed in the end. But then, that night, under the U Chief's lad's pillow, we found a bounteous sweet bread filled with cream. Under the mysterious man, savory loaves wafting a rich aroma. <coughs> Under the Nidias, crispy loaves baked with fruit. Under the Parapus man's large loaves of moist, fluffy bread. All these appeared in great quantity, before never void for food again. <laughs> but never thought, those who took the bread home for themselves, they said that no matter what they ate, nothing tasted good. Legend has it, it was the thief king that left those loaves of bread. And revealing his true identity, he brought to light injustice and inequality, only to disappear thereafter. 
A king among the shadows. It's quite something, don't you think? Different variations of the story do exist, and in some, it's an elder who brings the eight loaves. So, a fun little parable, isn't it? What the Thief King did is pretty great, but the reason it survived as a fairy tale is because inequality never really went away. Imagine the world of people who did no wrong saw justice saved just like the folk who received the bountiful bread. I feel like my imagination's gone up a little. All right. I don't think it's going to be enough to take up to three now, but we're getting close, we're getting close. Also, do you remember I'm not particularly worried about getting everything in the one playthrough? In fact, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I will be doing New Game Plus. I don't know if I'll be making New Game Plus into YouTube videos, but uh, probably not. But I will do it. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've seen the state of the race with my own eyes, ladies, gents, and mad malcontents. If you wanted an update, here's your chance. Oh, yeah? So far, we've mostly seen gauntlet runner skirmishes and dueling mayhem. Now it's time for the real thing. Yeah, I said to, the, to all the women, I don't chat. I don't. But, you know. Sounds like we've lost a few candidates already, too. Poor bastards went after something too nasty for their head hunt <clears throat> and got themselves head hunted. Uh, you said it. We've got some candidates who have outright given up. No confidence. Can't blame them against these odds. And some others have bought and sold out of the race. Come on. That's a bit unfair, isn't it? No. I mean, it is, but there's no rules against it. I suppose money's power like anything else. Military strength's not meant to decide this race anyhow. The question is, what's our final headcount going to look like? Lots of unknowns left, people, and we'll not know the truth until the exhibition. Hmm. A little bird told me one of our contenders has made a bold play in Martira. They might not even come out of it with a head. What are they scheming then? Let's hear some details. Sorry, chums, I'm just the crier. Can't speak for any one candidate in particular. Luckily, you'll not have long to wait now. This game is so, so peak. I love it so much. With all that said, can't help but wonder how Count Luis is taking this, can we? My sources say he's not bothered with any of this. He's still gallivanting across the land, killing humans. And yet, and yet, even without a formal entry, Luis's voter base is still growing. Bound to have his eminence, Forden, grinding his teeth, that. For now, let's enjoy the show! Right, everyone. Farewell said. Particulars packed. Yep. All that remains is to ride to Oceana with pride in our hearts. <laughs> I wonder if it was a bad idea to do request. No. Some of the requests had to be done in town, so probably not a bad idea. It does mean we can spend this time just developing social stuff, whether they're choosing what not. So we'll see. <clears throat> in particular. I'm looking forward to the water coming back on because we have 20 of those things that give two agility. And if they carry into New Game Plus, we can get some crazy stats on the go right here. Watch out, Luis. You won't know what hits you. Well then, we're off to the races, what? Old Barden's given me a detailed map of the area. Oh yeah? Sounds like quite a journey. I hope it won't be as bumpy as last time. Oh no. It'll be a side smoother. But you've got wings. What are you fussing for? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Should have known the fatigue would hit eventually. About time I got some sleep. I wish I'd kind of gotten to this point last night. Would have been funny. After doing a 17 hour stream. 
Please, mate. Why are you on my bed? You're positively miniature, man. There are plenty of other places fit for you to sleep. Age the sleeping together? Mm. Mm, yes. <clears throat> Splendid. Just magnificent. What is he dreaming about? I hope you've no designs on taking my bed. I have cut men down for less. With friends like these. I wonder how many days it's going to take to now get then. there. Next is Port Brawlhaven, capture the Principality of Oceana. If you punch it so far of material, make it in, uh, I'd say, three nights, four days or so. Okay. Hmm. So we're going to be on a ship for quite a while then. Or rather the runner. Wow, so that's Port Brawlhaven. I wonder if we have to leave the runner behind then, because we're going over here, right? Next, like somewhere over here. Not over here. It's a favorite. How do I zoom out? Q. Wasn't there something like over here? Hmm, no matter. This oh, hey! What sort of place is it? Large city of prosperous commerce, there were no small part to its oceanside proximity. Our ambition drove the people poured in for the exhibition. All the people delayed by the landslide might still be showing up. Keep on the road, okay, Norris? <laughs> Why I never? Who do you think you're talking to? Leave it to me. Next stop, Port Brawlhaven. Let's go. <clears throat> I wonder if we've got some more books Leaving we can read. The old castle town I hope so. Tragedy. The gauntlet runner sets the... off toward the exhibition of the brave. Their destination? Port Brylhaven, capital of the Principality of Oceana. A world unknown to them. What will they accomplish? A claim? Or... If you're hearing for things to do, hop on over to the lounge. I fixed a plank called to Chim so you can go see it if you got them. Hmm. I want, uh, hopefully, I don't think this takes a time slot. Uh, where is that? That's something that's by the bookshelf. Oh, pretty cool. Three days until we reach Balhaven. Right, let me go check. I don't think it's going to take a time slot, but... Only one way to find out. And just in case it does... I'm saving. Do we have to plant something? Some seeds. I'll plant these, maybe they'll grow. Isn't that... Hmm. Maybe these are really rare, and I've actually been taking them home for age, trying to follow in the footsteps hey. of heroes. We have some seeds, why not plant them? Oh, it does take a time slot. No. I, I wonder if there's, like, a supporter ability that makes it so planting does not take a time slot. I, I would be very surprised if there isn't a support type budget that does that. There are more books now. Oh, cool. I don't, no, 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 I don't want to read that. No, stop. Uh, what, what is this? Your record of Alice's life of the sun. I haven't started reading it yet. Maybe it gains more tolerance. Hmm. Maybe not now. We will do it. Well, not, maybe not now. Any bonds we can strengthen? No. I think right, the move is to read that book then. I think we focus on getting that book read. And then we focus on development of our royal virtues. I think that's the move. I mean, I guess we could plant it. Let's see what them seeds do. Let's see what them, let's see what them do. Oh, is that, we have eight of these. Hmm. I've got a lot. Oh, these bands are these. They're not that great. And it's not really worth it. Yeah, I'll pass. It's not worth 500 last type XP. Um, Let's read the book. You can always do with more tolerance. Though sparse and objective, the word still managed to vividly depict the endearing qualities of a small child. <clears throat> so none of them then. He writes of the day his son took his first steps, the first words his son spoke. 
a time has suddenly ripped his ears off, climbing all over them. I'm worrying about the sun not eating his vegetables, and the sun refusing to stop crying at night. I've been so exhausted. He'd fall asleep in place without realising it. I see. Being a parent brought them lots of struggles, but even more than that, it brought them joy. The warmth rises inside of me. I feel like my talent has improved. We can get, probably get pretty close to level 3. Mm. Probably get, four, get four, 12 more tokens. As they watch the setting sun sink under the horizon, mm. their gauntlet runner arrives in a land grown thick with trees. The wildlife retreats to safety before the sunlight fades, leaving only deafening silence. The anticipation not be a thing here. follows a journey's beginning swells in their hearts. Real. I know exactly what they're talking about. Because I'm feeling it too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oi! If you hear, there's a bath cask on the back deck now. <laughs> Red enough whinging about not being able to be, so I whip something up. It's not elegant, but it'll do the job. Mm. I don't think it would shake too much to use while travelling, but it should be lovely to enjoy the sake when we're stopped. Stopped. I've heard that in certain regions, fruits and grasses are added into the bath water to relieve exhaustion and strength from the body. Should you encounter such items, perhaps you ought to consider a purchase. Oh. We can acquire a mag by using it because I've been... Oh, cool. So you can do more than just agility. So we can become something truly monstrous then. What? I can tell you feeling stronger these days, but it's still too dangerous to go outside at night. Maybe this... Is that hinted at something? Is it? Or maybe not. Or maybe it's just saying, no matter how strong you get, you can't go. Mm. First is sound flash business next to the salty sea breeze. I just have to take some extra care of drive okay. maintenance. Hmm, I'm not looking trees, but you need them for that large, just move this one to me. This part's the most fun. I still don't think there's anything. Yeah. Um, I wonder then if the best move would be to go to the bath and soak in some of the agility grass. If I just want to focus on finishing my book. Hmm. What now? Our agility's pretty low. And very low. Um, no, I'm not too worried about combat stats. Let's, let's do our Royal Virtues. And then we can worry about combat stats. Hmm. Let's read it. Actually, let me save first. In case I ask for the dialogue option. Which I very well may do. Read. The sparse objective, the rest of my civil. Okay. None of them. The entry describes how me and the sun running through fields together on a beautiful sunny day. I can almost hear their carefree cries of laughter. At one point, Hazme loses sight of the sun, only to find he climbed a small tall tree. Hazme is mortified until the boy numberly jumps down just as far for what half. I see. Okay. Same dialogue. Alright, All right, cool. I'm probably to read it one more time. It's probably about just over halfway. It's pretty good. Time marches on, and the age of the new we just got tolerance level two. It really brings it up with all the other royal virtues. That reminds me. You'll arrive in Ocean City the day after tomorrow. Guys, may have to attend to both, haven't you? You take care, you don't get carried off by the wind. I'm confident we'll take more than that to pull the tent apart. Though I suppose some caution is warranted. Speaking of. Let's get snow, you got wings, could just fly back to us now? <laughs> My young friend, what did you hear you just keep off flight? I hate to disappoint, but they're rather more for gliding. Unfortunate. I bet you're trying to get pulled away by the storm. What a bozo. <sighs> In two days we'll be put in Port Blalhaven. You've really gotten used to all this travelling, don't you think? I still don't think there's anything new still. I think we just read the book, finish it. And then it's Royal Virtues time. Let me get I forgot to do this last night, unfortunately, but no biggie. No biggie indeed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's finish the book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's read it.
Hmm. Did you recall the time my son came to me in tears? Upset you couldn't sing a certain song well. Then ended up singing other songs together through the night until falling asleep. The next morning, Casimir worked with his son. I still swollen from crying the night before. Singing the song he'd been trying to learn. A birthday song for his father. All right. Hmm. And then we got four more for finishing it, right? Mm. All right. Yeah, it's getting pretty close to rank three already. And books really help. Ah, uh, Nira speaking. I've got something on the old girl's radar, so I'll be taking a short stop. I bet it's the trees. The city ruins come to view. Oh, city ruins? This I thought it was going to be trees. This place flourished through the excavation of magla crystals by migrant workers. The work was hard, but the miners were hardy and spirited, and the promise <clears> of riches <throat> lured many here. In its time, it may have rivaled Brylehaven. However, the promise of strong magla drew forth the humans. As tragedies climbed, it became a ghost town. Mm. Now only the threatening glimmer of the crystals remain, and with the promise of abandoned riches followed the thieves. For some reason, though, they all seem to scurry home empty-handed, gripped by fear. We can do it, right? Oh, it's beautiful. This is... A truly harrowing sight. Look at all those crystals. Simply coming is enough to ruin the soul. A chill settles into my very bones as I consider what could have occurred here. <laughs> Something wrong, lad. Did the gunner want to get the best of your stomach again? No. I was just reminded of something unpleasant. Everything okay? You okay? Right. Probably his hometown. Yeah, sorry to cause you any concern. No, destroyed this village, and no doubt about it. This is the work of a human. Indeed. Scars left upon this place differ from the traits left behind by monster attacks or acts of war. Right. I don't know if the Michael crystals are what attracted the humans here, or if they attack caused them, but my hometown will eventually. You. Straw. Hmm? I'll make no assumptions about what runs through your mind. I was asking to recall the time to cut down the human at the castle and save all those lives with him. That's why. Do not allow your thoughts to dwell on negativity. The day will come and both this place and your homeland will flourish once again. Yeah. Yes, I suppose you're right. Will I come in face to face with the cruel decline of the village has deepened my wisdom in its own way? All right. Hmm. Again, pretty close. Tolerance is the closest in an imagination, I think. Imagination is what we need the most right now, though. My stomach sends us that our next meal is over there, why don't we head back? So I guess Nose can read the room when he wants to, huh? So. Let's put this place behind us. Here. By the by, I made another drawing. This picture will pit being viewers no joy, but it's an important site to document nonetheless. I'll quit the drawing group me to ensure I never forget what happened here. As the sun sinks below the horizon, the gauntlet runner arrives in a land dense with trees. The glow hmm. of the gauntlet runner pierces the dark, warmly enveloping them in its light. We have to tomorrow in a real maritime city. We will see the ocean soon. First time for both of us. Is that imagination? I think it is. That's what you want right now. My bad. Apologies, I shouldn't speak so. I should just ask myself, I'm too pessimistic. It's a bad habit. It's fine. If we can get some imagination from Housemar right here, that'll be perfect. Right. Uh, <laughs> so we're done with the box, I think. Let's head there right Let me go away. check. Just being absolutely sure. I'm not reading the book I've already finished. It's a waste of time. <laughs> so we could bathe. Get plus two agility. But again, 
I just feel like royal virtues are more important at this stage. So, if this is imagination, oh, give me it. Now we're there. I've got a little bit too much time on my hands. Once we take a little rest and talk a moment. No trees of enemies around by my eyes. Peaceful now. Which means I get to have a little break. By recalling the past and planning for the future of hers, May, maybe I can hone my imagination. Do it. If we can get rank free imagination Good by the end of this, it would be perfect. Goodness, time to bid for about some more isn't it? Can't help but feel a connection to that place. The village from which I originally here was not far from Matera. The air there agrees with my skin more than Grand Trads. That's right. It's nice and quiet in Matera. Yeah, some of the subjects in particular we are in full agreement. Speaking of which, where is your hometown? Right before it received this mission from the hidden village where his highness the prince resides. Alright, oh, my apologies, I didn't mean to ask you with such carelessness. Your tribe place is even harsher prejudiced than their you, chief. I'm not proud of you, rather not discuss it. Mm. Though I'm not alive, we wouldn't want to forget certain aspects of their past, myself included. Well, if that is truly the case then, perhaps it is not one's past that defines their character, what they do in the present and in the future. If we are to all face the future together, that perhaps someday we could find ourselves living in a world resembling the one from that novel you carry. Okay, right. please give me four. Oh, nice. It's getting really close to level three. We need le if we can get level three before we get to the uh, Oceana, that'd be pretty sick, nasty. Because that means we can uh, get Maria to rank four and do Stroll's request to keep leveling up Stroll's. Uh, favor or whatever. I'm glad to have such an opportunity to converse. Have a good night's rest of age you, then I'll keep your company instead. Nice me and I talk for a while. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Hmm. Quiet. Ah, the salty yet strangely refreshing ground a rare amount of seawater is already upon us. At this rate we should reach Balhaven by tomorrow. Seawater? I thought so. The air feels a lot more clammy, so I assume that's what it was. And so we put the forest behind us at long last. That must mean that we've already ventured beyond where the cliff collapsed barring passage. I see. It would seem as fixed without a trace of its ruin. And speaking of ruin, no, it's do remember that we are relying on you for safe passage the rest of the way. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we have here. Pantry time. Why well, should we see the ocean? That Notice that the waters around Barhaven are kind of strange. I'm curious what you meant by that. As am I. Still no one. Hmm, we need to get brought into rank 3 for that. We also need more of them archetype XP items. Mm -hmm. What is this? <laughs> wisdom. I'm not too concerned about wisdom. I mean, I'll do it if there's no other better, better options, but... All right, then. There's an option for imagination, I'll take that instead. There is not. Unless we reread the book. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I will just read the, read the imagination book again. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. Now then. We still got four tokens too. Nice. We got it where we want it. Imagination. Beautiful. We got imagination exactly where we want it for the request. Enemies coming our way, or so I thought. Looks like that Mrs. Garnet runner coming for us this time. Hey! You lot. Yeah, I'm a Garnet runner over there. You're not becoming king on my watch. I've got a short future now, and I mean she don't come out right now. Kaboom. To the young Miss Cersei, maybe not want to act. Of course. Certainly. Don't worry, we want to take this lion down. Uh... Wait, they're coming on board at the event. We're going to have to accept their challenge. And then I take that much from that thing we have. It's you. So we meet again. 
Maybe you got the better of me last time, but you're about to get some payback. I don't know about that. Give me a break, lady. Ever heard of learning from your mistakes? Sorry, but we don't intend to lose either. Oh, big talk. Well, I'm willing to rewrite my record if that's what it takes to be queen. My people are suffering as we speak. Who's going to save the parapus if I don't give it all I've got? I promised them all I'd become queen. You're all decent people, got nothing against you, but I'm not holding back. Let's give you a try, eh? Let's have a spot of inventive ingenuity. Oh, big death damage. Looks like you've gotten stronger. So have we. On me, we go together. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's stay calm. Uh, looks like we can't brute force through Let's this work one. Together. All right, let's oh, pick this. Oh, that looks like nothing. It's worth taking the critical strike attempt. Oh wow, that was it, no damage. There, now you can't do shit. You know what? Come to life. Give my health back. And take some medium wind damage. Stroll, you're trash. Why are you so strong, damn you? This is where the real is where the real fight begins. Get ready to get stomped. Hmm. Only a flesh wound. Not it. Hide me. Oh, power of heroes. I'll use what I must. Good dunk here. Would you finish with it? No, fuck it. You'll be dead already if I just did slicer. I'm just better. I trained so much for this. This isn't supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's all of XP. Okay. Oh, yeah. Very nice. I've lost. Lost again. If I could just beat you, I'd ask you to join me, but that power verse is really something. But then you rest it easy, because I'll win next time. Stop preparing now, you got that. No, I'll win. Katharina, cheer up. Yeah. I saw you run, so I followed you. You're as tough as they say. <laughs> yeah, you Doricus, who do you think I am exactly? Ah, oh, pardon me, I know perfectly well you're the great Katharina Gran. Everyone here knows. In fact, all their hopes are pinned on you. Uh, all these people migrating to find work, even though it might kill them in the end. Hmm? What other options do palpers like them have? Might be dangerous, but you gotta pick some eggs to make an omelet. Omelet. Uh. Udoricus, wait. Take this and see if you can't stop everyone from leaving for now. Hey. Good news, you lot. Catherine has made a gen generous donation. <sighs> oh, thank you. Now we can eat for once. I know these times are trying, but it's kind of working out the answer. If you can hold out just a little longer, I swear I'm going to set things right for us. Well then. Now there we are. <laughs> Believe in you, Katharina. Mm. Earned that money slain I lost just a few days ago. It's meant to be the start of my Royal Campaign Fund. There's a small price to pay for helping out my people, but it'll last them what, a few weeks at most. I've been there to find work again in no time. I just can't fathom dying to earn a living, and the fat cat's all too happy when the power has taken him upon it. When I'm in charge, first things first, I'm gonna do is offer bounties for their bloody heads. They squeeze this dry, so I'll squeeze them right back. Uh... I'll handle that money and make this better. Uh... I got no clue myself, but I'll try something. Uh... Even now, tons of people aren't gonna survive. I can't tell people who aren't eating today to wait until tomorrow while I think of something. I was just lucky, you know? I have the strength to push through and survive. The truth is, people don't have that kind of strength. You need someone to provide it for them. That's why. You should know better than most. This is a crew can act, gotta take action. If you don't, nothing in this bloody world's gonna change. It'll stay as rotten as it is. To many see there's nothing to be done. We're just saying because the purpose are right where they want them. Beneath everybody. It just ain't right. You couldn't have the purpose start doing well for themselves. That would shake up the shoddy ground they're standing on. I like this twisted world just as it is. 
That saved them too. We can save those people too. Oh. Even though they're my enemies, maybe they're struggling in their own way. Oh, come off it. That doesn't mean they can make the purpose suffer for it, so yeah. Uh, I feel that out before I take the throne. Thanks. Much obliged. We may be enemies, but I like having these talks. Not as powerful as I need to be, but still. We've started the recruitment center. We should be seeing bigger rewards from bounties. Go check on it. We're gonna keep taking those monsters down. We'll beat this world into peace together. I can feel Catherine's indignation towards the world's absurdities, as well as her deep faith in me. She. No. Mm. A new. I don't really care. I'm not reading all that. What is read it before? I'm not letting anyone. Know. Nice. Pugilist is unlocked. Hmm. Next time I see you, I'm taking you down for sure, so don't go dying on me. As the shadows are stretched to their limits before darkness takes them, the Gauntlet Runner arrives in a balmy wetland. Nocturnal creatures who lay dormant beneath the fens in the light rise to seek out their prey. Meanwhile, the party rests their weary souls, fatigued by the long journey under the protection of the Gauntlet Runner. Mm. We need to increase our other world there, choose to rank 3 now. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of place Balhaven is. Oh, you know. Oh, dash it. Quite a relief when it may have my toes finally behind us. The core problem might be resolved, but I imagine the trauma's gonna linger in that town a while yet. You think so, eh? Intriguing's more the word I'd use. That sounds just like you, Norris. No more haunting, tragic atrocities on the immediate horizon. At least, so hopefully it's all downhill from here. What, what? Hmm. I don't think there's anything new still. Yeah. Hmm. These things are kind of boring. Yeah. Kind of boring uh, things, to be honest. This one has much better. Much more interesting. Upgrades. Kind of useful, but again, not really too interesting. Grand Fantasy. Yeah. Not Nothing ter terrible. What about you, Galica? That's really good. Hmm. I want this. I wonder what happens. Uh, 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 don't need to look at you. Alonzo, what about you? That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Nah. Only two pretty good ones there. The rest are kind of mid. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Eh. Just a chance to keep him from squad battle. Eh. Not that great. That's pretty good. That's really good. Uh, what about you, Vegeta? What, what have you got left? That's that's pretty that's really fucking good, man. That gives the potential to become so rich. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah. Well, whatever. What about you, Mo? What have you got left? That's that's pretty good. It's rank seven and rank eight is what we want here. Yeah? Yeah, the last two ranks is really good for him. I'm um, assuming Monty's is a chef that we met at the uh, Montera. And these two of the last actual supporters, I guess. I don't know. Um, Royal Virtues, Elegance, Tolerance, and Wisdom. 
<laughs> elegance and tolerance. Uh, tolerance is all pretty good. All right. Um, Go. What's this? What is this? <laughs> Imagination. Yeah, I'm not too right, interested in that right now. Looks like it's also imagination. Let's go. I guess we can just read a book again. Or do we increase our agility by two? No, I think we increase our agility by two. I think our royal virtues are in a good enough place. Especially once we get like more books and whatnot. <laughs> We're almost rank three. I think that's pretty good for where we are. But, I'm gonna have antlers, I'll make it even better by putting something in the hot water first. Putting something that smells good, I bet it'll feel nice. And there's fatigue and anxiety in my mind and body, I might even get some mag as well. I don't mind, maybe I should put something in the hot water. Uh, probably increased by two, probably? What do you mean, probably? Uh, if it's a, a random chance of actually doing it, then I'm gonna save scum until I get it, man. Cause that's ridiculous. Mm. It's a bath with fleeting fountain of youth in it. A street fragrance and bellows means that I've broken free to frolic for a flower-filled meadow. I feel like both my body and my heart have gotten lighter. Nice. I take mag from the bath. I'm up quite a bit. I got out the bathroom and back after cooling off for a bit. I, I feel like time marches on. You might need for real virtues on us passing right here. now, especially once we get to like rank three with things. I feel like we'll be pretty good for a while. Hello, hello, Mr. Captain. I'm busy. Rise and shine. What? Almost there. Really? Are we actually? I thought we had one more day. Royal Haven. It's, it's been, been a, while. a while. Oh. You've been before. My parents took me once when I was a boy. I remember the day we arrived. And waking up to the smell of the ocean. The place was crowded beyond belief. Everything was so different from our hometown in the countryside. I felt much the same when I reached the royal capital. Quite a sight compared to my little village with naught but fields and mountains. To be sure. And where are you from, Hockenberg? You cannot guess? Surely Montario in the east. Why, the Hockenbergs are one of that nation's most prominent aristocratic houses, if not foremost among them. You don't say. Well, yes. Though I've no close relationship with my parents, I've hardly seen them since I left home. I see. Suppose we've all come a long way, haven't we? Hmm. Seems we'll make it to the exhibition just in time. With a master at the helm, you're bound to, eh? <laughs> I really hope Joanna shows up. Me too. We resolved to trust her. So we simply watch and wait. Right. Everyone set and steady? Welcome, ladies and gents, to the Coastal Crown Jewel, Port Ryalhaven. Port Ryalhaven, capital of the Principality of Oceania, the western annexed state of Ukronia, a vivacious city. Ryalhaven is port of call to ships of both trade and war, bustling with hardy sailors. From the natural wonders caused by magma to the Colosseum's contests of strength, people flock here to see the marvels of a city that never sleeps. The sea guides the gauntlet runner into the city alongside a warm, salty breeze. Here we go, new place, new dungeons. Hopefully we can get some good farm locations here. We'll see. I need a shit ton of arch type XP. There's water all the way to the horizon. Hmm. <laughs> 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 it's 
It's kind of like the capital, but totally different. Yes. The city of water, Brylehaven. Sancta Godot, you've brought us quite a magnificent head. How do you think it'll stack up against your competitors? No head. With the warrior monks at my side, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. But I won't presume to know the rankings. I humbly leave it in God's hands. Lineup's a bit conventional for my taste so far. Here comes our mysterious little underdog now. Stir things up a bit here, will you? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I just don't feel like it. Ah, would you look at these spectacular gauntlet runners? They must all be worthy of kings. Looks like Luis is still the only one with a Skyrunner, though. Hmm. No, no, I'm sure those blasted clergymen have some mechanism for it, too. The Sanctus Church funded the Skyrunners to begin with. Probably. If you can call that flying, of course. All just piffling about with levitation magic. Only a passing acquaintanceship to real aerodynamics. Birds have never needed magic to fly. <clears throat> Just the mechanical ingenuity of the feathered wing. That's the kind of breakthrough I'd like to make. Hmm. Do you want to be better? You'll see, eh? One day, I'll make those wings reality and we'll soar like birds. I'm looking, looking forward, forward to it. To it. Yeah. Good. I'll have you run in the sky with me. Mark my words. If it isn't the pretentious little gallant and his cronies. A little weakling. If it isn't the walking headache. Well, well, well. No head to be seen. Weren't you talking big about chasing down that high's may fiend? You're referring to me, yes? <laughs> You're the man. This is a joke, is it? He's your great and terrible bounty. You know there's still time to drop out before you humiliate yourself in front of the masses. Say what you wish. He is one of us. It is not his head we are offering. Truly. You're allied with a wanted criminal. Are you all mad? Oh, your public humiliation will be quite a sight. Come, Hector. That's retarded. And that was? A candidate and one of Luis's henchmen. We don't exactly see eye to eye. Confound it. No damn parking space is left. Well, let's look for somewhere a bit less unpleasantly populated. Oh, but it doesn't like people either, it seems. It doesn't like being turned to humanity them at least. Tomorrow is finally the exhibition to present all the heads. I really hope Joanna shows up. Me too. You needn't all sleep here tonight, you know. I can stay and wait for the cavalry. Got to give the old girl a tune-up anyway, don't I? Tis much appreciated. In that case, we should look for an inn about the city. Ah, and we must sample the local delights. They far better seafood than in the capital. It was nothing too weird. Nothing too weird. You've nothing to fear. Truly, I find most living things are edible. Yeah, that's you the problem. You need higher standards, lady. Yeah. If you're sure, Nurus, then we'll leave it to you. Me. I long for a proper bed. So be it. Let's find ourselves some lodging. Uh huh. Let's do it. Really? Okay, once we're to a big city, I think we deserve a real end. This is a joy. 
I think what now? I should go ahead and turn voice up a little bit more. Why did the music go quiet all of a sudden? Here we go. I think I can go ahead and turn the music up a little bit more too. Hmm. Mm. There's even room for us to stand right now. It's unfortunate, but okay. This is a joy. I think I can do a little bit more. I see you're gone, Ronnie. Yeah, we candid it. Do this with it properly. Too many ruffians. And then there's Louis. And they give it a rest. This is a joy. Oh, oh, whatever, man. What are you doing here? Here's me. Well, I was a wanted man. The might reject us outright. I'm sorry. I have to rely on you to find your own accommodations. Hey. We wanted to meet you. A hey. town quiet, aren't you? Name is Battling. Now the scrapper girl does run, I believe. What a scene that was. I figured I'd turn out a girl up a sapling and you could all both show up. Anyway, I've kept busy with my candidate interviews since then. Warden most recently used to who I rode here with. Good grief. Look, I know what's me saying, let's be careful out there. The crown faculty do whatever it takes to win, you know. They're reckless with their runners too. Usually you just stop and camp all night, but not down, we just kept running. Huh? No, I didn't rest at all. Yep, I need to trick when you got God's grace plus loads of money and people, which the Sanctifest surely has. The head is brought quite something too. I went out of shine and it's quite the plan. I can tell I got something up your sleeve. I'm looking forward to seeing that unfold for my young Elden friend. Uh -huh. So that's a dead end down oh, here. Hey, <laughs> for the exhibition. Where can I find a name? Get the spot above her there. What can she just flock there? All the ends are full. Wow. It's problematic. And since it's a, travel in the city is a little bit different. I'm to walk to where the ends are located. Uh, talk to a friend at the harbour. Put it in the Anglis and the Square, they'll set you right. Waterways, hmm? hmm. Like water setting hmm. from One Piece. This outfit catch your fancy? Nope. Neighbours in charge here. You know, forms much smarter than the state time, but don't you think? No, that's pretty basic. Anyway, let's go have a little look, see then. What's all this about? So I don't see how much you're looking off his medicinal herbs. Now I'm good. Hey. If you ain't banned, don't come complaining. It's a secret to the store. Maybe. Looks like we be a blast sight to behold. Pay an exceptional mark. I participate as well. Must say I pity you. No, I don't. Um, Anything down here? Is it just like alleyways and such? Oi. Nothing right now. Maybe another time? Gone clammy all over in this humidity. What's this about? I don't even want to lose his underlings. You got business here? Just minding me business, not bothering us all. It's not a crime, is it? You have business in a battle like this? What's the matter? You're boss afraid to be seen by his eminence for them? <laughs> Watch your mouth for you want an end call for what happened at the Gone Grand Cathedral. All over in this humidity, I have. All right, then. I wonder what's up there then. I wonder how big the city really is. If it's bigger than Grand Trad or whatever. Nothing around here. I love it. A hub of bazaar. Rare and exotic items on display. Ooh, sounds interesting. Hmm, not even forgiveness day. Yet the amount they must make daily. Such extraordinary items. Marvelous markets worth the trouble to visit. I agree. Probably really good, some really good stuff in there. Wow, this is just as spectacular as I heard. I really feel like I'm in Brawlhaven now. Seabreeze feels wonderful too. Lovely city. Didn't you promise each other we'd visit the Coliseum first? Yes, dear. Alright, let's go shopping. No, I was actually just thinking I'm to do some shopping. <laughs> well, well, she's gone and wrapped around her finger, it seems. My money's on the Santa no, 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 a number of odd ones too. Everyone's aiming for the throne. Well, you chief too. Having me on. Yeah, right, well, let me even, you can go this way. Right Probably not. Oh, it, it does. Okay. Merchants Bazaar. 
All right then. Uh huh. Hmm. And then that connects to the same place as there, it seems. Hmm. Interesting. Let's have a little look then. Look, be a tall glass of water, lads. Go out, I'll just sail going on. Go buy some water, then buy some more. Alright, well, now take then. them first. Uh, uh, uh. Ain't no way you want that much. Give me three of them. And give me all of these. What is it? Mrs. Woman and Watch Up have drowned out in a bustling port town, like. So if we were wrong, can we get a purchase where you could even cook our fine harbour fish in it, I guarantee. It's tasty. Um, I just told you, no more hands out, I've got business to run here. But why not? It's like giving one away for free is going to kill you. Even though there's yummy looking things to yourself just isn't fair. You said the exact same thing last time, and I've already given you plenty, now shoot. I won't bother than giving you a single thing more. Cheapskate, jerk, stupid face. And then we're gone. I just don't understand on fairies. You don't think office like that I might be in trouble. I've given you a bad name. Welcome. Oh my, what a young customer. Yeah, let's quit the sword at your belt. We pride ourselves on being a purveyor of only the finest apparel of the navy as well as local sailors. Okay, clothing, unusual accessories. All right, cool. Well then, find something perfect for you. How about this rider's anklet? Living dragons. This is fashioned in the image of a dragon swing and a beautiful spear. It's truly divine. Can we talk? Hmm. I'll buy it just to see what it actually does. That's it. <laughs> Looks fantastic on you. Every day in the week, I bring another new item just perfect for you. Do you come Greetings. again? Hmm. Well then. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, actually, I'm really good. I just want to see what this is. Uh, Rider's anklet. Agility plus nine is kind of crazy. It's actually insanely crazy. Real cheap today. Hmm. So I'm gonna buy some top shelf fish for cheap. Um. I'll buy ten of these, and that's it. Good, in it. Be honest, I had a real rough act to see with that bloody great monster mucking about. A monster or no monster, you can rest assured that my stand will be full of fish. Alright, let's go check the uh, armor and weapon shops then. Hey. You can do that here. True. We have a sale going on. Lots of junk customers. Okay. I'm supposed to give you a discount. Didn't even involve that. I don't know if you're okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm fine. One good deal. Use this gift well. Very nice. Appraise. I've just appraised all of it, but I don't know if I'll actually use it. Alright, let's see here. Bye. And drones plus four. That's insanely good. Hmm. Oh, give me this. Good. You have it. Um. And then you have this. Oh. Um, I don't know about that one now. Alright, let's see gloves. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'll buy this. I don't know if I want to equip it just yet, though. Gun plus two, magic plus two. I'll buy one of each. I just don't have one equip it yet. Let's have a little look. Why Equipment. Not? Noble tuxedo. Eh, that's good. Eh. All stats plus two. Anything that's good. Anything like remotely similar similar it's the best one to get for him 
That's the healing hall back on. Hmm. Oh yeah, you have that equipped. You can have that on then. Squares bracelet. Is that a better plus strength plus one? I have a better strength plus. Let's have a little look. I do not. Right, what about you then? Mm -hmm. Right, you have that. Put on then. Um, Similar armor. Yeah, that's good. Drones plus two, agility plus two. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. 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 I kind of like that though. I think I've enjoyed plus six, right? Yeah, there it is. And then you. I've been agility plus six. Even better. And then you can put this on. Alright, cool. That's what I'll do for accessories. Young man. Let's Young go look man. at the weapons. This is on sale, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. I, I already know about that. I don't really care. Wow. A better weapon, eh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 55 damage. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Alright, well, I'll buy you. Ooh. Equip it. Buy you. Indeed. Equip it. Uh, Ninja Blade. Mm-hmm. Plus 32 damage. Yeah, go ahead. Understood. And then I'll take this, I guess. Yeah. That's a, most of our money just spent right there. What now? Um I think this actually might be better for now. Was that strong plus three, magic plus three? I think I have to find like a something similar, like or at least like fifty more attack. Mm -hmm. That's some really good stuff now. And again, we used up most of our money, but we can get like a shit ton of money anyway, so it's not a big deal. All right then. Um, there's a heat item shop right here too. Let's have a little look what they have. The goods are cheap today. Good time looking around. All right. Uh, listen. Let's start making much more important than tribe. Good example of some sort. Might look. I make a tidy profit. Okay, good for you. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. No, no MP items. Understandable, but you know. <sighs> if they offered MP items at the same availability as HP this items, sale, right? it'd be too easy. Let me take a look. Offer this on the goods. Okay, that's for now though. Just don't come back later to complain if you regret it. Maybe I will. That's right. There's infinite money in the game anyway, so. I could probably tear, I could probably just get like a hundred k, without barely any effort. The next running day, we can just go exchange some mag for money, and we'll be rich again. We have a sale going on. Mm, let me listen to you. Shops on the whole kingdom will sell goods at a discount, which is right here in Brailhaven. All right. Cool. Well, after most of our money gone, we've got some decent upgrades, like really good upgrades. So it's you. 
The two hooligans again come to rub my face in the mud once again. Moons have yet to heal, and our exhibition is nigh. Then you have a chance to hunt a trophy. When I mean, you attack first, as you may recall, no one to blame but yourself. Damn it. That kind of attitude is exactly why you youngsters can't run this country. I've had half your gumption. What an idiot. Absolute buffoon. There's a lot of big nights coming to port lately. Those things don't exactly seem legitimate. I wouldn't be smart to dive in without much knowledge, I reckon. And yet, if the country's full of big nights now, I wonder if it benefit our shop to start carrying them. Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. When I go up, I'm going to join the Navy, it's so cool. Been about since I was a kid too, but you're the girl, aren't you? Doesn't matter, I'm going to join anyway. I should go in here. This is where you get the bounties. Hmm. Is there even any bounties available right now? Welcome. Busy preparing for the exhibition of the Brave. No contracts for a while, move along now. Okay. I mean, if we do this now, we just have to do it later. Hmm. What's this about? You look. Oh. T taste your rate. Okay. I got slightly increased. 1 to 6 instead of 1 to 7 on a rainy day. I mean, I could just. Boom. I could make us rich right now. Hmm. I'm gonna wait for a rainy day. This is probably gonna be an insane race on a rainy day. I'm not even gonna bother looking at that. Bursting all around me. I'm just giving this speech every day now, can you believe it? I didn't expect the tournament to ignite such passion. The top is in the King's Rock are the same as always, but I'm gonna recognize the other candidates as well. Bye then. You draw one's on the phone, eh? Roger's a popular chap around these parts. It's got to be Rudolph. I must prevent the state army from falling under Louise's sway. Hmm. Don't really know much about all this, but what about Loveless? It's probably the lush life of all the ale we can drink. I want Milo, he's well fit. Oh, what a clever girl you are, taking an interest in politics at your age. But well, politics isn't all about looks, you know. But you trust in a man like that, I'll come back to bite you in the end. Tensions seem high. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, looks like that's everything. That good blood of fella, you know, the obnoxious brat participating in the tournament in Lewis's place. Apparently there's a vicious dog he brings along everywhere. I guess it's not going to be so supporting for nothing if you can keep a monster like that. Hmm. Only, only one right. other thing to look at then. Let's head that's there right away. the area to the left in this place. Let me go to the end. <laughs> Up here we go. Hey, mister. Bloody hell, the king's own face. Will the else see in Brawley even? You think it's all bloody palace of Nance Barmy? Maybe you're balmy. What do you think could swim in that ocean? I can't, of course. My rings would get wet. Skeletry, man. Just don't get your rings wet. Indeed. In the case of a tournament, people don't belong to congregating through the city like that wretched elder child. What a ridiculous gathering of lesser tribes. It's because of those vulgar groups allowed to force the countries in such disarray. Let's just say, sir, a country ruled by Rosante is what we need. These guys can go fuck themselves. We haven't much time. But Ufa, the island's people must change, and to change them must first change the country. But no one will heed the words of a pagan like me. Hmm. Alright. Let's do a save and go to the end. Uh how are we for agility now? Not too shabby, not too great. Uh let me just go ahead and I wonder what abilities this has. Not the same, I guess. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. I'd probably go for the passive build by the time we get to the end game. Like four and a half of passives that boost them in certain directions. Uh, what is this? Good choice. Is that what? Is this what I think it is? I'm just trying to figure out this place entirely. All right. Then. No, somewhere new entirely. Okay. Mysterious old man. Oh, do I believe I know your face from somewhere? But you're the one in the giant sandworm stomach. Oh, none other. 
I'll drink it else. Truth be told. Oh, Nintendo Lens better to be my final resting place, but after running into you and Gubs, I long to see the outside world again. I just get to win with a little poke with magic to loose up its belly from there, why it was no trouble at all. So you got it the same way we did. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. That's neither here nor there. Tell me, you haven't seen glowing beetles anywhere, have you? Of course I have. They're strange and wondrous insects, luminescent with the golden light of magla. If you do have any, I shall have to take them off your hands. What's in it for me? Look at this. A glowing bug, I feel like we captured at least one. What can I feel? This is it, a genuine gold beetle. I must reward you for your efforts. Here, take this. Arcane dragon blood. Restore some magla to surround your body. Maybe you'll find a use for it yet. Are you sure you want to exchange it for a worthless bug? Just who are you? <laughs> I'm a bot and all my passion for insects. I, up that woman's I only end up in that worm stump because I was too absorbed in catching specimens to notice my surroundings. Traveling all about the country, are you not? If you find more gold beetles, could you bring them to me? If you hear that familiar chitter, give that area a look. Crap told not give this fair venom war charm okay. next. Just a venom war charm? Kind of mad. Put into the audience of my file in Brawl Haven. The better items you'll seek, you look out for gold beetles whenever you go. What now? I'm gonna look at the dragon blood. If it's even here. Uh, where is it? Is it not in here? That's pretty mad. But it was only one, so it's, it's whatever, man. It was only one item, so who cares? Mm. Now, I see time. You found any gold beetles yeah. for me? Let me find some more of the bugs you're looking for. How many more do you need? Okay. I believe you can do it. Okay. I think that's most of what we have, though, right? Hey there. <laughs> Let the haste on you. I smart with one before you give me the beetles. Uh, 13 mobiles on top of that for total 25 claw breakers. 38, I'll give you a flame seal course to let. An additional beetle for total 46, I'll give you my greatest treasure for Dragon's Fall. Dra Dragon's Fall is probably the best sword in the game. Hey there. Mm. Here you go. Let me see how many. I don't quite have enough. Oh. I don't even have enough for the first one. We've been there. We've been pretty far and looking for them, I think. Whoa. Hmm. Maybe not, I guess. I don't know. Huh? Very nice. Maybe there's a, a treasure thing will help us find them more easily. After I collect my ward from the cost, you must treat us to a stonking great meal. That's our captain, a real man among the men you are. Entering the cost, you what makes a real sailor. It's the issue on a way to impress someone. Is that so? Hmm. It takes your fancy today. I believe I shall play it safe and place my rage on the monsters. I think a punt on the power because fight is a long shot. If he dies, well then that will be its own amusement. Ah, oh indeed. I'm sure I'd enjoy that as well. The beasts are most entertaining when you've gone mad with bloodlust. Hmm. Really now? Let's do it. Let's go investigate this Colosseum. We probably can't even enter it, but you know. We'll see. Right, it's, a, it's a very small area, this, it looks like. Uh -huh. What do you want, an elder? You a candidate too? I don't know why you're here, but I can't let you in right now. My costume doesn't open, I'm sure it'll be a smash hit. You need something? Okay, so we're gonna wait for the exhibition to end before we can do the Colosseum. Which is to be expected, really. But, uh, I digress. Really now? Yeah, really now. Mm. Uh, I think we've already been to Merchant's Bazaar. Let me just double check. I'm almost certain we've been here. Almost certain. Yeah. Alright, let's go to the anglers in there. Leave it to me. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the inn and progress the storyline a little bit more. 
Mm -hmm. There it is. Whoa. You can really see the king's face from here, huh? Mm. I'd realised it was slowly moving, but come to Brawlhaven was beyond my expectations. I wonder why yes. it came. I did suspect it keeps a watchful eye on the top candidates. It's evident that we're being observed as a scene from the coronation Whoa. rock. That's actually for the better. Soon I think this guy might make everyone really think about the kingdom's future. Okay, anyway, we better get to find an inn, inn we can stay at. Um, right, Ridiculous. Even now, as much as we face watches on. Once the exhibition of the brave is over with, it's on to Materia next, I suppose. I never thought I'd see the royal palace and tire born aloft. Like London Skybound pilgrimage to Ukraine's three great cities. Real magic, and what a tremendous magic it is indeed. Leave it to me. I will help anyone who's in trouble. Out of money, don't want to die. Some blessing to guard you. Wasn't some issues with my work. Oh, of course, don't worry. I'm well versed in Brawlhaven's economic affairs. It's definitely shady. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, what do I do? Uh, right, oh, no, what are you doing? Uh... Looks like that top anchor goes somewhere unique, maybe. Wow. In the tournament too, Trim C and Alt are involved. It is a pagan candidate in the competition now too. Got no chance of winning. Church won't stand for it. Hmm. The tool of the state arrives. Oh met young Gelda. I saw you earlier in Martera. Impressed with what you did in that town. It was just a hundred man. Was it a nibble behind all the abductions? It's exactly the kind of thing those rich bastards would do for fun. Well, well. Turn right, you mean. I knew it. Here's the nibbles looked off and more than to fatten themselves with people's coin. Did you listen to my speech? You don't need taxes, laws, or guards, only like freedom. And that's just those who are in the most on their own merits are the winners. You and I might be battling it out to the side that soon. Probably. No well, I'll sit and rip off that boot from the royal capital was. I saved all my, all my, all my money to strike it rich by betting big, and now it's all gone, damn it. <laughs> Getting lively out there, we'll have customers queuing up in no time. <laughs> Wait, this place, I mean, I guess it looks like an inn, but then the it feels way too dodgy. I'm not look for somewhere a little nicer. Dude, we're, little, we're gonna be full, bit. <laughs> Let's stay before we go in. Uh, let's go north first. Let's investigate what that oh, island up there fun. is. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> I wish Bill Mona. That's another interview done and dusted. The next candidate I'm meeting with is, um, wait, I've got to interview Master Gado first. I was taught to prioritize candles from the Sanctus Church after all. What are you standing there for? Can't you see him work and clear off and come back later? Hello, uh, I wonder what's over there. How's it going? Uh, no, this place has all been through before. What's over there? All right, then. It's not around I've been to yet. Maybe later we can unlock it. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. Oh. Let's go do the uh, actual Don't thing then. <laughs> do, I do? do a save right here. Oh, mm -hmm. There's more. Business is done. Uh, it, in the strong hunting the tournament, how yes. are you fan? Uh, how are you what? How are you feeling? I'm finding hard to believe this head hunt was proposed and accepted for the exhibition of the brave. It's positively boorish. By which you mean? It's only revealed that these would be monarchs are little more than bloodthirsty brutes, killers of intelligent life, has oh, it not? Fellow minded oafs eradicating resources with no consideration for the future. But the care for this country that offered their own heads. Not brilliant logic. I expect nothing less from my eldest finest thinker. Hey, what you? shit logic. We aren't all around from these parts. What's all this then? Looking for a place to stay. Been a murderer yeah. prowling around lately. I'm just gonna make an imagine doing something as obvious that a parapus or elder. Let's hope both hope that I guess is all you are. Oh, I love racism. Hey. Look who's here. You're that elder fella from Matera, aren't you? Let's both got ourselves marks for the exhibition. We open slip this in. I heard at this point in the air, sir, because I just tossed out of... Because I, I just got tossed out of my ear by the innkeeper. But it's already full. No one calling himself to come on, come all in. It's some joke, eh? Is there anywhere else to stay? 
There's two other inns nearby, but I'm hardly filled with either option. On the other side of the fountain is the Golden Coral Pavilion, where Nobby wankers like Ford and stay. Perhaps it's all now to stay in there, fat bloody chance. And there's an imp past the Golden Coral, but one's price is pricey. And this is where you'll find Luis, naturally. Probably bought out the whole place for his rabble rousing crew. Yes, but... You think so? Guess we better avoid that one then. Not like we could afford it to begin with. So also the options where there's a spider down by over the tavern. The dodgy look on you just stands on front smiling all creepy like, puts me right off staying there so I'll pass. <laughs> so I do need to name when there's a tavern. From this day on, I claim it as my castle. I don't get much sleep in a tavern. I sure wouldn't anyway. The spider stand sounds much better. Unfortunate. I saw you in Montero, didn't I? Little participants of the tournament, right? We plan to stay at the scene. Unfortunately, there aren't any beds left. Because of the expedition, everywhere's full up. But I told myself I was going to make sure to stay somewhere nice this I time, see. too. That's so. This place does no good to not look somewhere else. But wait, that gun, one of yours? The one you had part in the middle of Montero? Hey, come on, what sort of technology do you use? Let me on it, too. Who are you again? You're terrible, so you don't remember me. I'm William McKeard, and the only daughter of the Caden workshop. Just so you know, I'm participating too. Got a real gauntlet run on my own and everything. That means that if you're stubborn and refuse to tell me, I can make you do it by force. No, you can't. It's probably weaker than me. Oh, the end turns away all who are not of the nobility. It's infuriating. Isn't it the wrong way? But do I no longer look the pass? No, you're just a common vagrant now. Vagabond. That's terribly unfair. Must be policing that your precious Lord Milo is still in the room next to ours. Milo, what about him? Wait, you're not jealous, are you? Of course not. Don't be upset just that well. Oh, I know you That's won't. Now. Seriously, only my little Lord to be jealous. You're just embarrassing yourself, darling. <sighs> what is it you've acquired? Mm, you there. You have a look about you like you look like one of my supporters, are you? No. Don't be shy, dear boy. Find yourself drawn to beauty is only natural after yeah. all. Beauty is all as my creed. I'm on anything a king should be beautiful, should he not? Whichever inn I choose for my beauty rest must be worth my resplendent grace. Yes, yeah, like this golden coral pavilion. Alas, I don't have been blessed with wealth enough to enjoy a room in such a lavish place as this. This guy's a jerk. I won't stay in an inn full of people like him in anyway. Unfortunately, all the other decent inns seem to be full, so we've only got one choice left. I really, really don't want to, but should we check out the spiders that we heard about from the Loveless earlier? Yeah. Only, I always knew I was going to end up being this one. I knew it all along. I knew we were going to end up being here. Spare room available. I want a few serves to anyone, and my rooms are affordable for all. Criminals, pesky traps, oh no, I won't dream of turning the business away. Feel free to have a look at the accommodations, we can discuss payment afterwards. Kind of this place seems really shady, but we might as well look at the room. Well, should have figured shit all. out of the upper rooms with all the travellers in town. This is, a, this is how Asman Gold lives, by the way, chat. That's what he lives in. Tis a far cry from the runner, at least. I am so glad to stretch my legs again. Did you see that giant bug just now? It was like the size of my head. It's gotta be poisonous. Don't worry, Hulk and Big, what do you say? Oh, pull yourself together. It's just a b a b a b a b insect. <laughs> well, listen to you. <clears throat> you can't have lived in a giant sandworm den and been afraid of bugs, surely. Hence, the hut. That's why you lived in that hut. Uh, more importantly, we must discuss tomorrow's proceedings. Must we? Right. We meet up with Joanna, then get to the exhibition after that. Joanna will admit to the crime. The guilt of a sanctuary, especially of her status, will guilt Forden by association. That should make an impression on Louise. Yet for all this, we need Joanna herself. Do you truly think she will join us? Mm. I don't understand why this is even an issue. They could teleport back to Matera, grab her, and then teleport back to Oceana. Who knows? She chose to offer her own head instead of the monsters. 
If you ask me, she'd not have done that if she didn't believe it truly was her child, at least in part. I believe she expressed genuine parental love. I want to believe that, at least. And no, I'm not feeling sympathy for that. I mean, you're the one who got the worst of all of this in the first place. If it comes to that, you've still got my head for the days. After all, the bounty still says I'm a kidnapper. Balderdash will not sacrifice an innocent life for our victory. But your offer speaks highly of your spirit. Right, we've done what we can do. All that's left is to keep our chins up and face the competition head on. Too early yet to retire for the night. We could drop by one of the local pubs. Listen for what perks our ears. And Come while now. we're at it, might as well sit down to a proper supper, eh? <laughs> could be my last, after all. Oh, ha ha, very funny. But I guess good info is important. Let's go check it out. <laughs> what are we without beauty? What do we care for promises and speeches from repulsive mouths? Beauty is everything, and it is time our country reflected that. Sounds like the candidates have started their speeches. Let's listen in for a bit. With all skills and talents equal, would you see the crown atop an ugly head or a handsome one? Beauty is power. Lack one, you should lack the other. When I take the throne, all the hideous will be stripped of their titles. Together, we shall build a nation ruled only by radiant, everlasting paragons of beauty. <laughs> well, he has a point about what people tend to follow. What? This really doesn't bother you. It isn't right. You'd rather wait for a king who was always right, then? Enough about appearance. A beautiful face cannot win wars. Without military power, the crown's voice means nothing. When I am king, I will establish a unified nation with the Rousson tribe at its head. Our tribes, our status, they mean something. You could stray from a monolith, but it will still remain. There can be no true peace without using the power we command. Hear, hear, for Rusan pride. What pride is there in seizing power by force? Disgraceful. When I'm queen, all the land's corrupt upper classes will be wanted men. We'll have our guillotines sharpened and our wallets open. Those who thought to tilt the world with their heavy coppers will be ahead lighter. We'll split their fortunes and toast to our health. Preach it, Katharina. You're just what this land needs. <laughs> Wouldn't the first target be the one on the throne, then? Everyone's just shouting all their ideals out. These candidates are all pathetic. Nobody here even compares to Lord Luis. Luis isn't even in the running, lad. Poor Blight is afraid of losing to Sanctifex Fawn. You've got it backwards, geezer. He's just not wasting his time on these windbags. I confess, I know not how to feel. This unprecedented. Never before have our citizens come together in the street in broad daylight and shared their true feelings on king and kingdom. Indeed. Is this really the kind of change His Majesty wanted? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Let's go in. If we hang around too long here, we're bound to get dragged into a nasty argument.
When I'm king, pleasures will rule the city. A bar on every block and a flagon in every hand. All you can drink, all year round. Woo! Next round's on, Lovelet. Let fools be content with their fool dreams. Grant me the crown, and I will make our kingdom powerful beyond imagining. Most powerful? Don't really mean anything, does it? Aren't you another one of Luis's flunkies, hound? Stop barking and get back to your master. Always about that goddamn Luis. I've been in the guard just as long as he has, you swine. Quite a lively crowd. Looks like a great many of them came all the way here to watch the competition. That lad there, he's an elder, ain't he? Are you a candidate too? Well, strike me down, you're right. Never seen one of you blokes before. Might be out of luck in the race, though. You'll not stand a chance. <laughs> Pay him no mind. A drunk's words weigh nothing. Wow. There are fish swimming in front of the store. There's no store to pop. Ah, I've heard of this. Tis on the customer to fish up a catch, and the chefs will prepare it for eating. I admit, I'm curious. Shall I sing a shanty for you as you take up rod and reel, Captain? No, I'm good. Is it actually gonna make me do it? Please. Okay, good. I caught some weird, creepy creature. Oh, now you're eating it. Is that really edible? It doesn't look quite... Uh... Natural. I bet Hulkenberg loves it. By all means, let us try it. Did she even look at it? <sighs> Why? It is delicious! Knew it. The aroma of the sea simply floods the mouth. Ah, and what splendid crunch it has. I guess I'll try a bite. I mean, they wouldn't let us fish up anything outright inedible. I hope. At least we'll die together. together. Yeah. Oh, well, I was the one who suggested fishing. Right. The noble thing to do is see it through. Yeah. See. Ugh. It's rather slimy for my liking. I said nothing since Hulkenberg seemed to enjoy it so much, but if you're going to eat an unknown fish, might you not at least sear it first? Tis fine enough without, I say. You need way higher standards, lady. I could never eat that, man. That looks disgusting. Excuse me, friends. Don't mean to interrupt your meal. I'm Batlin, a church crier for the tournament. Maybe you remember me. Sounds like you made a hell of a splash in Martyra, huh? Felling a vicious beast is one thing, but not many candidates took it figuratively. With a problem like that, I had to do something. Well, the rest of the candidates had to find themselves ahead for the lineup. Rather struck me when you all broke away from the pack so soon. So, do you have a head ready? Well, let's see. Got a head right here, I suppose. Mm. Lips sealed, huh? Well, I'm certainly looking forward to the exhibition then. Especially considering the diversity of your little party. I've always preferred to chase an interesting lead over a sure bet. Can't help it, I'm afraid. So, I have a keen eye out for you, all right? That cry is an odd one. Not really what you'd expect from a Sanctus promoter. Who is he? Rumor has it that young candidate hasn't brought a head. Wonder what he's playing at. Whatever it is, he's about to get a sharp lesson in the ways of the world, poor lad. I think he's worth keeping an eye on. Keep it under your hats, chums, for his power may rival Count Luis. I think he's just the ingredient we need to uh, spice this race up a bit. Oh.
It does indeed rifle Count Luis's. Right. Just got back from the pub, did you? You wound me. <laughs> no, nobody trusts a radical, huh? I expect you'll see for yourself. Hmm. John and Barton should reach the city by morning. Mm. Much new empty fans is not going to run it. No sort to be there to greet them. But they don't, we should have to have a gauntlet runner. Let's do a little save then. Yes. Hey you. In practically identical. I don't trust this test with the country myself. Is it I want to control your rival Louise or Forden? Yeah me. I can do it. My apologies. If I have to ask of you, would you mind lending land me any unused blankets? <laughs> sure. But the fence you understand just in case otherwise while I'm sleeping, I'll be unprotected against bugs. Apologies. I'm into no contact with them whatsoever, awake or sleep. So I thought I might bundle myself in blankets at night. Yes, this is probably as warm as, as it is. Yes, I'm prepared for inevitable night sweats. Nevertheless, I'd be grateful to have any spare blankets. <laughs> Raoul Haven is positively right for tourists. I myself have long awaited for delicacies here, and indeed, it was so delicious I wish to eat every fish in the restaurant's tank. Fish so fresh it still wiggles in the mouth, and that's the port city specialty. What's that look about? You don't find it appetizing. Let's rest. Look at and that. Let's go to bed. And uh. At the plot unfold. Time this time. marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The man sloshed again. What happened to waiting for our guests? You utter buffoon! Is this why you volunteered to stay behind? That's so unreliable. <laughs> Seems like Joanna and Barden aren't here yet. Oh, I feared this might happen. And we've no other head to offer the judges. Tis a precarious position. Let's all stay calm, all right? Bah! I'm going to splash some water on my face. <laughs> oh, they're in the bathroom again. My sincerest apologies. I wasn't expecting anyone to come in. You see... How did you come to be here? Explain yourself! Is something the matter, Barden? They were here the whole time? I'm so terribly sorry. Just like last time. We heard the gauntlet runner had a washroom, so we thought we'd freshen up a bit. I bathed first and was resting in the back room, contemplating my final day as a sanctuary. Sir Nurus over there very decently let us in to wash up. I couldn't stand it, old thing. Her heart would bring any right-thinking man to tears. Could have run like a ballet thief in the night, but here she is, washing away her sins. It was more than a chap could bear, I say. Needed a drop of the grape and grain just to get myself through it. <laughs> the bottle's barely Same any play. Was a drop really all it took to get you drunk? Oh, please do not blame the poor man. Talking to him has eased my heart for the trials to come. I cannot let myself betray you and regress to my vile delusions. I only sought to atone with myself before my sins are duly punished. Mm-hmm. I understand. Thank you for coming. Then... As we agreed, please confess before the crowd when the time comes. To be honest, I'm hesitant to turn you in now you've genuinely decided to repent. I mean, we're hardly icons of virtue ourselves. What are you talking about? She kidnapped children and fed them to a monster. In fairness, you're a woman of status and it'll be a big crowd. We're not looking to instigate a public stoning here. You can explain yourself freely, in your own words. We can't ask anything more than that. Thank you. 
Truly, I've felt so much more at peace since last we spoke. The fog has only cleared further, giving me clarity of purpose. The fog, huh? Thank you for everything. I do hope you win the throne. Oh, I didn't yes. need to do that. It's a good thing that's the one I want us. I intend to. Whoever the crown goes to, we're at least going to make sure it isn't used for evil. At last, it seems our preparations are set. We need only trust that our plans will bear fruit. There it is. Here's the big day. And what's gonna happen? Thank you all for waiting. The very first round of the tournament for the throne, the exhibition of the brave, is about to begin. Our monarchs to be will now present to the people the heads they seize to demonstrate their power as worthy of the throne. At a later date, when the second round is announced, the faces on the King's Rock, that is to say, the candidates with the top 20 approval ratings, will pass the first round. So we're gonna get into the top 20, eh? 20? Tis a great many eliminations in but one round. I was hoping we'd at least make it through the first, but it might not be that simple. We're pretty close, actually. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes to the lineup of all the gorgeous faces at the judges' table. Starting with no, the gorgeous of Oceana and Montario. Oh, it's her ladyship. Lord Montario's here too, eh? And the armor on that fellow over there? A general, is he? No, he's just pretending. And he's cosplaying. Of course, we have the one, the only. The people's favorite, our guest from the Sanctus Church. Better known as the Miracle Saint, healer of all ills. Presenting the lovely Lady Rella Cygnus. Saint? Hmm. Who's this? Someone fill me in. I've been literally living in a hole. A brilliant healer. We've met, though a long time ago. Even as a student, she was already considered the kingdom's best in her field. Looks like the crowd's on your side, milady. Can you give us a few words about what's on your mind as you take on the judge's mantle? Uh, well, I'm afraid you've rather got me on the spot. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Hello. Oh, this city sure has um great seafood. <laughs> Ah, uh, someone's a little bit awkward. And, uh, well, sea creatures. Fascinating, aren't they? There's so much we still don't know about them. Um, Just floundering like a fish on land. Oh, I, I did hear about a legend of some monster in the eastern Ooh. seas of Oceana. <laughs> Imagine, the mind races. I'm hoping I can investigate those sightings while I'm here. That's just great, Lady Rella. I'll just stop you there, clock's ticking and all that. But we're thrilled you're enjoying your stay. Sometimes I can hardly believe you're my sister. Still not much of a public speaker, are you? So she's a saint? Well, she seems like a nice enough lady. We'd better stop worrying about her and focus on ourselves. I don't see Luis anywhere. But I bet he's got eyes in the crowd. Hmm. We'll chill. We'll be got this. Now the time has come. Let the exhibition of the brave begin. First up is a respected gentleman of the church. Gido, the head of the monk soldiers of the crown theocracy. No, I'm pulling it on also. I've no taste for needless killing. Therefore, I chose a mark with meat, abundant and edible. After the judging, it will be served in a banquet for the poor. You just killed a big fish. 
Who cares? Whatever. Strength and compassion in one package. He's got the crowd on his side right from the start. How boring. Now, is there anyone who can top this? I can. Yes, we'll go last. And we have a challenger. Second in line is the church's direct opposition, the spearhead of Count Luis's supporters, Gladell the Black Hound. One look at the head and I know what you're thinking. Bit small, isn't it? Well, I can bloody well tell you I'm not like this smarmy git who fished up his dinner. I'll tell you what this is. Behold, the head of a hideous human. That looks like a donkey. Where's your proof? Y yes, the young son's right. How do we know that's really a human? What drivel? Look at the thing. You think a normal beast could have a face like this? He's well, lying. You just made the damn thing yourself. Oh, useless as ever. Did it never occur to him that the average citizen has never seen a human? No. Everyone, let's have a little composure, please. Candidate Gladell, we're very much obliged. You may step down. What a bozo. Now, on to the next. Amigo. No. Okay. I guess we're after this one, maybe. That thing's massive. Is it our turn after this one? What is that thing? Is that the monster of the Eastern Sea? Someone took the beastie down. Who did the deed? I'd heard tell of a monster tormenting the people of this beautiful port city. I could do no less than grant them respite from their suffering. Such is the duty of those with power. have all gone quiet. All I hear is gratitude. Gordon's trophy is more impressive than I expected. How are we going to make a stronger impression than that? It's fine. It'll be fine. If he'd gone after us, the reaction would mean we'd have been written off no matter what we presented. Let's count ourselves lucky. And trust in our strategy. I agree. Now, now, no I agree fully. You lot. Next is the Pagan Assassin's Prize. Let's see what head we've got now. Oh man, is it going to be out there? Thank you, Candidate Julian, for that helpful, exhaustive, and I think exhausting explanation. Whew. Now, we've had quite a succession up here, but our last is coming up now. This should wrap up our show. Now, if the last candidate, the Elden Boy, would please join us on the stage. Here we go, chat. Where's the head? Uh, your pardon, madam, but... Would you happen to be the Lady of Martyra? Joanna, the Sanctoress? Indeed. The head they've brought is mine. The impudent. You dare offer an honored lady of the church before these judges. This is not to be borne. I've got something to say to you too. That you chief there. Isn't that Heisme? The same damn criminal you were supposed to be chasing? That's the infamous Heisme. A huge chief of all things. This. After we saved your hide on the road. Silence! He may be a former knight, but now he's a heinous criminal who stooped to kidnapping. Anyone who claims themselves his ally should be disqualified on the spot. Please, wait. I have something I must confess to you all. You speak of the kidnappings that terrorized my home, Martyra. I am here to confess that the true culprit behind those atrocities 
was me. I was the caretaker of a hideous human in the basement of my castle. And to feed it, I abducted the innocent people of my own city. What? Absurd. Speak sense, woman. Master Heisme is innocent in all this. He was framed for crimes performed by my hand and in my name. And I, Bardic, captain of Martyr's Guard Corps, stand to vouch for all that she said. Just so. It was this young candidate who killed that human, cleared me of the false charges, and dispelled the shadow over Martyra. Thus, here I stand. My head is his to offer. That's... Well... That's quite a turn of events. We have our head, ladies and gentlemen, and it's unlike any we've seen yet. How is this believable? She's an imposter. She's got to be. Of course, that, or they're putting words in the poor woman's mouth. A sanctuary would never. What will his eminence fall and do? The Honorable Master Godot should know whether I and my words can be trusted. <sighs> Tis true to the last word, isn't it? Yes, Your Eminence. Without question. Young Candidate, you have done well to bring about her repentance. Now, justice must be rendered. He's gonna do something. Something's gonna happen. What? Right here and now? Your Eminence, a moment! Thank you for your concern. But I have no objections. For a sinner like me, to confess the truth to the people has already been more than I deserve. Oh, new king. It is my hope that you will rid the world of its twisted prejudices and common cruelties. Please, leave this country armed with the truth. I will. I will. I promise. Oh, well, she thinks she's King Roger. Or Gold Roger. Well, folks, sometimes that's just how the curtain falls. <laughs> If Sanctifex Forden turned in the biggest head, then our dark horse here has certainly turned in the heaviest. What an upset, ladies and gents. Who could see this coming? <laughs> Those crazy kids have done it again. What a show. <laughs> I love this game. It's so good. Damn. 49. Mm. After the events of the ex exhibition, many people seem to have taken notice of me. This eventually leads to saving the prince. We've got to do some requests and get off the top 20. Barden just departed. Wishing everyone well. I suppose he aims to reach Martira before Joanna's confession does. And Makes sense. Himself. I hardly expected the man to make himself so visible. Likely his attempt at redirection. Keeps the blame from falling on him and the church. Can't say it didn't work, I suppose. I'm certainly not blameless in this either. It was my suggestion to make an impression by foregoing the pursuit of a monster's head in favor of a person's. What is this a blame? She literally kidnapped children and fed them to a monster. I don't know why he's feeling sad about it. I really don't get it. Yes, but... Nevertheless, the Lady Joanna entrusted her final wishes to us. And we mustn't betray them. That's all we can do, really. Not bad, Pops. We were passing on the course of a human hunt. You gave a most distinctive showing. I suppose you're worth introducing ourselves to. I'm Fidelio, that's Basilio. Luis's right-hand men, see? And now you walk with a Ujif at your side. Each ally of a different tribe. Fascinating. Better to have dependable friends than familiar ones. Something we've got in common. Mm. Not only did you expose a failing of the Sanctus Church, 
but you dared to bring her alive so Forden himself could do the grisly part before all his flock. That was not our intent. Oh, same idea, yeah? A real person's head gets more eyes on you than some decapitated beast. And now you're the names on everyone's lips, aren't you? Yeah. No. We only read it or wrong. And you weren't afraid to make an enemy of the church to do it. It's quite a feat for a no-name candidate to so deftly rub Forden's face in the dirt. A wake-up call, I'm sure. For those who only know his honeyed words. Oh, Lord Luis, we really should be going. Relax. They're in the middle of a conversation. I like a show of strength as much as the next girl, but I do so hate violent spectacles. A view from the sky sounds so much more enchanting, don't you think? <laughs> so this is what's become of Luis. There was something eerie to him even as a lad, but I'd never expected him to reach such heights. Do you suppose we have his attention? Last time he told us we had to demonstrate our power first. I'd like to think that if he went out of his way to talk to us, that's something we earned. Oh, loves. I've got a message from Count Luis. He says he'll be sending a messenger along soon. So stay in the city, would you? Very well. And I have to say, I might not want to let you out of my sight either. Oh? No thanks, I'll pass. Sure, I can have you. Master Luis? Master Luis was just here. What happened? Well, he just left. You weren't told? We'd better be getting back as well. Mm. Damn it! What's so special about those fools? An idiot. Luis is having a go for pop by, eh? Are you officially all flunkies in arms now, then? It's not a done deal. It's not a done deal. Still, it is a significant step forward. We've crossed a dangerous bridge, and the risk paid off. We have finally taken the first step in saving His Highness the Prince. If we can get the formula, then we yet have a chance of lifting the curse. Hmm. How first, His Highness, anyway? He still fights? I took a look in the Farsight mirror a while ago. He's still asleep. But nothing's changed about his condition. Of course it wouldn't. And do we know where this formula is? Yeah, it's right in the fridge. Just in the, uh, in the kitchen. No, but he's bound to keep it somewhere secret if it's evidence linking him to the assassination. I don't know why you want to destroy it. I'm supposed to use it again, I guess. The formula would be useless unless it's within arm's reach for emergencies. If it's something he'd keep close, then... Maybe... He's engraved it directly on his body. Yeah, somehow I doubt he'd literally carve incriminating evidence onto his skin. It'd be backwards in a mirror besides. It's more likely to be in his runner. No, no, I think we'll put it on his body. It's the best. Probably the, the real answer. Do you really suppose it would be in the runner he uses even today? The incident was near a decade ago. It's as good a chance as any. Getting inside would be a pain for anyone else, including us. He said he would send a messenger. Perhaps it would be wise to wait until we've heard his missive. Real. Good point. Let's just wait for word then. Give me a, a point to save, please, so I can end this YouTube video. Joanna, a backwater sanctuary denies me my moment of triumph. She defiles the very church itself. Oh, and naturally it was an elder of all people who stood her before me. Will that benighted tribe never stop docking my heels? An idea occurs, Your Eminence. For the tournament's next challenge, let us center the competition on a show of piety. Make them prove their Sanctus faith. After all, Sanctism is the state religion. 
It would be the barest of leaps to suggest that loyalty to the church is loyalty to the state. I assume you have a plan. Ooh. Altaber is our next destination. The very seat of the faith outside the capital. I thought we might propose another hunt. This time for relics. Hmm. Ah, the so-called divine relics. Those false idols the pagans consider relics of their gods. What need does the world have for gods beyond ours? Soon, they will talk of nothing but how to win the Sanctus Church's favor. Your eminence's influence would be sure to reach even greater heights. And in the pagan lands, the greedier candidates will plunder and pillage for idols as they see fit. Hmm, find footholds for our missionaries, all without getting our hands dirty. Exactly. The That's a really good plan. Divine relics should be a spectacle held on Saint's Day. Our divine right will be undeniable. Once I take the throne, I will re-establish that these relics originally belong to the Sanctus Church and that they were ransacked from us in the course of history. Your Eminence, on that day, I should be grateful to be honored with a proper title. <laughs> Say no more. A concession only fair for the right hand of the Sanctifex. Ever at your service. You do not bow your head. Of course the religious leaders are evil. Oh, I... Humblest apologies. What troubles you, my child? Well, my concern would be about the risks involved. Some theories suggest even the Royal Scepter was originally one of these relics. In the unlikely event that a divine relic were to be found to nullify the King's magic... If such a relic existed, it would have been found long ago. You burden yourself with such fears. All you need to do is be a good saint. Smile, wave, and bless. Hmm. Rella, you are to return to the royal capital and gather the people under my banner. Understood. Hmm. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Uh, hello, uh, a word. Uh, some odd blighter left a letter for you last night, said he was Luis's man. Oh, yeah? Night Prowler, today, come. Bit curt, if I'm honest, hardly diplomatic. Seems like this Night Prowler place is some sort of pub or club but uh, do you know where it is of course on the city's outskirts seemed fairly dingy to my eyes i can't imagine Luis at a haunt like that i have no idea what it is chap you think it's a trap maybe he's caught on to us if he wanted to trap us i doubt he would make it so obvious though that doesn't guarantee our safety there of course we have little other option but to show up i'll hang about in the runner Keep myself busy with tinkering. Let me know if you talk yourself onto Luis's craft, eh? Right then. Let's be off to this night prowler. I wonder if the gauntlet run's going to be a dungeon in and of itself. It'd be very interesting if it is. Oh, it's raining. Night it's prowler here. This should be an edge of town. I've heard the ferryman should know how to get there. there. Uh huh. Well met, eh? Ah. Hmm. Well, so you're something else. And stop blabbering about you bringing the sanctus at your mark as your mark. The framing you for the crime sure is nasty. Not so unusual though, probably. Uh, where Sorry. is the mag exchange person? There it is. Let's head there right away. We need to make some money. Get some moolah. Young man, go to dinner on today. What is it? One to eight. Okay. Ah. How about this? Yeah, let's do this. Now we have a decent amount of money again. 
And this is a good place to end the video here. Change the exhibition. And next time we can hopefully push the plot. We get the breakout point. We've got dungeons and stuff going on again. I'm looking forward to doing it. Especially since hopefully we'll have a really good dungeon we can farm. And just get to OP again. But we'll see. I'm not mad. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps a lot. And following on Twitch would help even more. But regardless, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.